Welcome to my channel, and if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another tutorial, and I chose um, moon painting. This is the first time that I'll be doing a moon painting. Um, I think I did a moon painting way like uh, years ago when I was just practicing, and this is the first time as well that I'll be teaching you how to paint a moonlight scene painting <laughs> so i hope that makes sense guys and let's begin now so the colors of course you saw them already during the intro of this video and now i'll be doing the background first in the painting next is the moon and next is the foreground let's begin now so i'm just gonna be using my big fluffy brush this one and i'm just gonna use my violet that violet guys all right like that then I'm gonna get my red color I'm just gonna blend red Okay, next I'm going to get my orange color. Okay, again orange. Alright, like that. And next I'm going to get my yellow, cad yellow, down here. Like that. It reminds me of, uh, I don't know, rainbow. All right, like this. So again, just blend. Okay, I'm gonna get my violet again, right here. Just make the dark, the upper portion quite dark. Like that. All right, and then I'm going to color this um, bottom portion black, just plain black, guys. Alright, like that. And then I'm gonna do the moon now. Or I'm gonna dry this first because I feel like it's too dark. So I'm gonna lighten things up a bit. So I'm just gonna get my hair dryer and dry this as uh, more quick. Okay. that's good so I'm gonna go back to the sky because I feel like it's too dark for me I'm gonna get my purple or violet I'm gonna mix uh, all right just purple like this okay I'm gonna get my orange and apply some orangey colors 
in between uh, violet and red. Because we're painting the night sky, but it's not really super dark. It's just, um, or it's like the, the sun has just set. No, it's not fully evening, really, or night. <laughs> I won't make any sense, guys. So I'm going to get my cad yellow. Like this. Make the lower portion of the sky quite bright or brighter than the others. Okay, again, my orange. Okay, I'm just gonna water down. I'm gonna get my red. I want some hints of red. that all right now I'm gonna get my white titanium white and I'm gonna mix that with my cad yellow and again I'm just gonna brighten the lower portion Like that just hints of it not too much okay okay I'm gonna wash my brush out and I think we're ready to do the moon now I'm gonna dry it up I'm gonna dry this uh, very quickly I'm just gonna freehand the circle but if you are not really comfortable in doing a circle freehand um, you can trace maybe you can use a bottle like this use the bottom portion and just like use it as a trace or as a guide but I'm just gonna freehand everything and if worse comes to worse <laughs> I'm just gonna use that bottom portion of my tube but as much as possible, I really want to freehand everything, guys. So I'm just going to use my titanium white. I think this is pretty dry. All right. I'm just going to use my titanium white. And I'll do my best to do the circle freehand. All right. So I'm just going to hold still. Like, place your hand steadily on your canvas or on whatever... Um, surface that you're um, leading on all right so that's my um, moon. I'm just gonna paint the insides. Like that. So it's not really hard to do a circle. So I'm just going to paint this white, although I can see some hints of purple still mixing because maybe the paint is not fully dry, but it's all right. I can layer after layer. All right, like that. Nice. 
Okay. So now I'm gonna use my cad yellow. Cad yellow plus um, orangey color and then black to make some brownie colors like this. And I'm just gonna use this color. It's like yellow ochre. So if you have yellow ochre, that's good. But add a tiny bit of black to it so that it becomes more muted. And I'm gonna use this color to make some patterns or markings on the moon. Okay, like that. And I'm gonna allow that first to dry. All right, so I'm just gonna use my hair dryer to speed things up. glaze the circle or the moon I'm just gonna get the same color only that it's quite watered down I'm gonna add white I think it's pretty dry all right so I'm just gonna glaze it Like that. So I'm just gonna make more brownie color. I'm gonna get my red and then my black. Okay, I'm gonna add yellow to that. All right, and then orange. Just make some dark brown darker than the previous one again i'm just gonna make some spots on the moon to create that rough surface of the moon being um seen from afar Wash your brush out. I'm just gonna make some taps. Oops. All right, my white still, but it's all right. Kind of like the effect though. All right, now I'm gonna use my pure titanium white. Pure white. And I'm just gonna make some bright spots randomly that
Okay, you can tell that the paint I just uh, layered um, is being peeled off, but it's all right. You can simply paint over it. And sometimes I'm just letting it peel off because it's kind of making the moon look more natural. All right, like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, let that dry for a while. And we will go back to that moon later. Let's do the pine tree, a huge pine tree that will help us or will help this painting make more sense. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get my black. Okay, I'm just gonna get my black. And we're going to make a pine tree, a huge one, right here. like that and I'm gonna start creating some branches don't worry too much about this one because this will be painted over so make your branches quite irregular as well So we're going over the moon. All right, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna use my fan brush to create a uh, foliage like uh, or leaves of this pine tree. I'm just gonna dab it onto my black and I'm just gonna create like leaves. So remember just to make your foliage quite random. You don't want this to look like a perfect shape. The more imperfect shape you give it, you give it, the more real it becomes or it appears. All right, I'm just going to make some areas quite thick right here and let's go here and here
and then I'm gonna get or I'm gonna make some like grass like shape or silhouette down here because we actually don't want this to be just flat just like that should suggest some plants right here all right like that and again i'm just gonna make some areas more thick And I want to take a look at it from the camera viewer. Oh, this is nice. All right. Okay, what should we shout? Okay, now let's go back to the sky. I think the sky needs a little more um, definition. I'm just gonna get my cad yellow. Gonna make some applications of yellow. Okay, and then get your orange. Right here. So we want some hints of orange up here. Okay, and then get some red color. Then I want to get my purple, but I'm going to add a tiny bit of white so that it, beco it becomes more visible. And I want to go here. Okay, I think I'm going to add more foliage. I'm just gonna let it dry or I'm just gonna use my hair dryer
I think I have to make the lower portion of this quite brighter. So I'm just gonna get a floppy brush, a medium, medium size. I'm just gonna get my yellow ochre. I think this is fairly dry. I'm just gonna get my cad yellow. Cad yellow, I mean, not yellow ochre. And I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to that. I'm gonna use a lot of water this time. And I just want to make this quite bright. So let's glaze, guys. Let's paint over the tree. It's all right. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna use my white and I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna allow that to sit because I really want the lower portion to be quite bright and I'm just gonna delete it again. like that okay and then let's dry it okay now let's go back to our tree Alright, like that. And I'm gonna use my cad yellow. Then orange.
Okay, I'm gonna get my red. Don't forget to go inside the foliage to suggest that we don't have, uh, we have spaces, you know, spaces. Add some spaces by painting over those or making some tiny holes. Like that. Oh, this is nice. I like it. I really like it. I'm so glad that I did the second layer. Like that. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this part. It's looking weird to me. Okay, like that. I absolutely love this one. Purpley colors. gonna add light yellow white plus cat yellow and just add it here bottom portion like that Alright, so I don't think, hmm, I don't know. I'm just gonna add hints of orange up here. Near the moon. Near. All right, like that. And for the moon, I'm just gonna get my titanium white. All right, and I'm just gonna glaze it again. Like that. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brownie colors. See how I apply those tiny browns? It's super watered down, but I'm dabbing them, I'm dabbing on those watered down paints um, 
quite randomly like that and I'm just gonna use my hand to press Okay, I think I have to sign this now. Or I'm gonna dry it first. now right or not yet I'm just gonna apply more white That's nice. Okay. I think this is not wrapped. Okay, I'm gonna sign it now. I keep saying it. Right here. okay i think we're done we're done guys that's nice it's really pretty so thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this one that was really nice and um quite uh there was this moment i was losing hope when i was painting over it blazing white but i think we pulled it off and this is really nice thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this one and see you in my next video guys bye Mm-hmm.